Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video which is another video about a book I just finished reading and this book is Prophet of Bones by Ted Kuzmatka. Kuzmatka? I, I don't really know how to pronounce his name I'm sorry. Um, yeah so I personally did not really enjoy this book. I mean Okay, let, let me start at the beginning. So I know that a lot of people either like this book or really don't like this book. So I, I did not... I did not look at the reviews until I was like almost finished and a lot of the more mm, not so good reviews kind of undermined what I, what I was thinking. So this book is a thought experiment about that the earth is indeed only 5600 years old and science has proven that and that's that's the setting of the story and the protagonist is a scientist who uh, works on something about bones that have been found and the bones that have been found are the flores bones that have been found indeed in real life too. These bones are from a species that's not human but they kind of have the same properties as early humans like they used uh, weapons and ate like small elephants and stuff that's how the book um, portrays it and I have read the Wikipedia article and this is clearly only like this inspired him to write this this story and indeed I, I think if I remember correctly that the bones have been dated even older than they thought they were before so like even older than the world is in this book if that makes any sense uh, to you I hope I'm making sense you know English is not my first language so sometimes I'm very confusing. So, okay, so this book is set in a world where the world is only about 6,000 years old and they talk about that, oh wow, if um, if that was not the case, if science has had proven that the world is indeed much much older, then the Bible wouldn't make any sense and then all religions would have died and we clearly know that this is not the case, this is just a what-if scenario. Like, what if um, science had proven that, you know, like it was just like in the Bible and stuff like that. So, yeah. The beginning of the book was really cool, like, I, I really liked how it all started off and then there was a lot of build-up and when I was about like 200 pages and I was like, okay, if this build up doesn't doesn't like hold up to what it's building up to <laughs> um that's gonna be a bit disappointing and i was kind of right so we get a lot of build up like a lot of characters um no, no lot not a lot of characters but um characters are being built up in the story and you get to know them and stuff like that but i feel like the book should have started where it ended. Mm, I don't want to give too much spoilers, but there is an evil corporation in this whole scenario. And I would have loved to know more about them. Like, I would have loved to see the story behind them. They do a lot of scary experiments and I would have loved to know more about that. And I also would have loved to know like, what's the timeline of the war of the world? Like, how science has stated? Like, what, what about the dinosaurs? Like, what about the early human beings? Like, Neanderthals and stuff like that. What's the timeline we are, like, in? What, what, what happened in prehistoric times? Like, everything must have been going super duper fast. And I was... <laughs> okay, I don't want to... I don't want to dive into religion and stuff like that because I accept everyone. If you're religious, that's totally cool. I know a lot of Christians and um, people from other religions that are cool people. It's no problem. I personally am an atheist and sometimes I was like, am I reading 
Christian a Christian story and then it was like no because um, I, I'm not I'm not sure it's it was just very confusing to me and I would have loved more background information like a little bit was given I got, I got a little bit of a hint and yeah but well, I don't know it's it was just the book felt very very short and the, the build-up just did not the the ending was not satisfying <laughs> with all the build-up like this book would have if it held up to what it was building up to there was would have been easily another book like with the same amount of pages it was a bit like mm, yeah i mean you can't love every book you read right like you, you can't love every book you're taking your hand but like i was a bit disappointed because the beginning was very very cool like I'm not gonna spoil you what's happening in the further story except that they found these bones of the small people in um, in this cave like this is all this book revolves around really and then the end stuff with the evil corporation and okay I've already spoiled a lot I'm sorry so the 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 first chapter revolves around a protagonist in his childhood and um, this family is very religious and the mother asks him, you know, um, how to disprove like, like what, what Darwin did wrong and how the world really functions and stuff. Like, like in a lot of places this is still taught today and it's very scary to me that that's a thing. But... Um, he has like the he, he hides mice in his attic where he lives with his parents and he um, breeds them until certain characteris characteristics my god um, are being being achieved and that was really a cool beginning and I don't know it's just <laughs> it, it <laughs> I don't know how to say it but like it was just I would have loved to know more about this this um, parallel universe where we um, where the Bible clearly plays a big part in in history and stuff like that so I would have loved to know about about as I said about the timeline like what what about they they repeat in this book that Darwin, clearly was wrong there's no evolution like that's clearly all some guy in the sky doing all that or some force of the universe making all that like they they talk about God a lot and that was kind of I don't know I just don't I just don't really like that because you did not really have the contrapoint like you did not have a character that questions that like it's just a thing like you know in my head i was like maybe it's freaking cthulhu like playing playing with you all <laughs> maybe that's your god i don't know but like yeah i would have loved more information like how how this world was before and the history and stuff like that like if you give me a world where they say it's six thousand years old you have to tell me why <laughs> and how and stuff like that and i read it mainly in my lunch break but i don't think i've missed so much that i missed that i don't know maybe you can tell me um maybe someone has read this book and you can tell me if i missed that maybe all this explanation was somewhere and i just did not notice it i don't know it was just kind of strange um but it was not the worst book I've read. I um, had one book this year that I gave away that I just could not finish. It was very short, but I was like, okay, I don't, I don't like this. This is fucked up. I don't know. I can't read it. And um, this was okay to read. It was an okay read. It was not very, very good, but in my opinion, like it's only my opinion. You can love it if you want. All power to you. <laughs> um, but uh, it was okay. It was it was a fun read. It was just not very um, satisfying. Like the end was like okay. 
I think that's the end then. Oh, I it was very open, a very open end, a very um, not detail what's going to happen with the characters. I don't know. Um, it was not not it will not be my my um, my favorite book. I don't. I also, I don't really think that it's like Christian propaganda or something like that. It's just a thought experiment. It's just what if. But I don't think it's very well executed. I'm not a book critic, clearly, but I have a taste, and the taste was not uh, satisfied <laughs> with this book. Um, yeah, I mean, you can like a book for a very ver for a variety of different reasons, right? Like you don't have to agree with me. Obviously, I don't mind that. I think. It's great that there are so many books, that there's a book for everyone, and everyone has a different taste, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so... What did I do for the picture? So, I did not really know what to draw at first for this video, so... I just thought, okay, there's a lot of stuff going on with chimpanzees and gorillas and apes and stuff like that. So, I decided to draw a skull um and some mice surrounding it because the book starts off with the mice and ends off with monkeys and apes and so i thought i would close that circle and i yeah i i referenced this from a chimpanzee skull and yeah i kind of went a bit wild with the colors <laughs> But yeah, I think it's it's working. I think it's kind of freaky like the book. It, it's kind of freaky. Oh, one other thing. There's this sample of the DNA they get from this cave. From these bones. And everything evolves around these samples or this sample. And it's always about like we have to know the sequence. We have to know what the sequence says. We have to know what... Um, what these samples tell us. We have to know, we have to know. And then I think they get these informations, but it's never discussed, it's never brought up again that what what exactly, I don't know, what exactly these these um, samples now mean. Like, what, what does this even mean? I mean, maybe, is there a second book I did not know about? Is, is there a second story where they all, where they tell us what's going on with these samples what what does this this found in this cave mean with these um small people or these people that aren't people i just i'm so confused i'm so confused yeah so um it just came to my mind that this was never brought up again like i don't really know i mean if it was brought up it was in a sentence on the side so I clearly don't remember it. I would remember it because I really wanted to know what's going on with the samples. So, yeah. Um, that was that. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm confused. So, yeah. I used for this picture that I was talking about before I lost everything and just went back to the story. In this picture, I used my HIMI... Uh, Mia gouache and yeah <laughs> that's just what I wanted to say and also uh, this is Claire Fontaine uh, paint on paper so just in case you were curious what this paper was and what the paints were and stuff like that so yeah. <laughs> this was all I have to say about profit of bones I think um, so the, I read it in German. The, one more thing I have to say. So the German title translates to um, God's Secret Creation. And I thought, like, I thought I, I would get, like, I said it before, but I said it again. Like, what did God create exactly, secretly? What did he create? Like, I don't, I want to know. I, I mean, I know that it's a species that's not human, but they behaved like humans, like early humans. But what does that mean? Like, what's the consequences of this? That God had a little side project 
where he was like, yeah. Wait, I, I I would imagine it like I'm like hey, I draw but I also like knitting a lot so God was like I like making different people species but I also wanna wanna have a little side project on this island let's see how these behave clearly did not turn out so he abandoned it like I would abandon a pair of socks where I don't like knitting with the wool because it's too fuzzy or something. I don't know. I just want to know what this is about. <laughs> and if I did miss it in the book, please tell me. Someone please tell me. I want to know what this is about. Maybe someone can explain. Maybe I'm just stupid and I just know I have no idea about what's going on. So sometimes I miss things like that in books. So um Maybe I missed it this time too. So, okay, this is all I have to say. I'm sorry, I'm very emotional about this thing because I did read this whole book and it did not tell me what I wanted to know. So, yeah. <laughs> Clearly the Bible aspect threw me off a bit. But, um, yeah, so. It's not a bad book. Please don't think that I wanted to say that it's a bad book. It's not a bad book. It clearly made me interested in the characters and what they... Um, found out and stuff like that. I wanted to know that, but like, yeah. Okay, so this is now really the end. I'm done talking about this. And yeah, please, if you have read this book, tell me your opinion down in the comments. And yeah, that was it for today. And I thank you very, very much for watching this rambly long video. And we see each other next time. And until we do, please do something that makes you happy. Bye!